Yo, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video. Want to give you guys a heads up on, yes, yet another free Steam game on top of Sega Base Fishing, which is available through the Sega newsletter. There's a game free right on Steam, so you'll want to check that out. Now, it is a free game that has been free before, um, but, you know, still an opportunity to check it out. And there are some major Steam sales that are running right now, so definitely worthwhile to check those out. More on those at the end of this video. But first of all, Dungeon of the Endless is available free over on Steam. Typically $11.99, but it is free right now. Dungeon of the Endless is a roguelike dungeon defense game in which the player and their team of heroes must protect the generator of their crashed ship while exploring an ever-expanding dungeon, all while facing waves of monsters and special events as they try to find their way out. The game has been received fairly well. A few hundred condemned criminals were being shipped to the Aruga system on board the Prison Hulk success. While this was presented as a chance to earn back their place in society by working hard for the common good, they understood that, in fact, they would be a slave laborer sent to colonize an unexplored planet. All they knew about Aruga Prime was what the probes told them. It had water, temperate zones, plant life, and plenty of metals in the crust. Gather a team, form a uh, team of heroes, each with their own strengths and psychoses. Equip them, deploy them, and earn powerful abilities. Manage the balance between ex-prison inmates and guards. Experience four-player co-op and watch your back. Build your defenses. Use the dust you gather to power the rooms. Use scarce resources to help your team survive. Build a, a minor and major modules to help hold off waves of monsters. Decode endless ruins to discover life-saving technologies. Open the door. Each door is, is a danger. Prepare yourself and your team for anything. Explore and discover an infinity of levels and Layouts, carry your crystal through waves of monsters to the exit of each level. Fight your way to the surface to discover the truth about Aruga. Dungeon of the Endless, again, free right now, and it will be free until uh, a specified date I don't think is available. It's a limited uh, time promotion, so jump on it as soon as possible. So, yeah, get on that. Next up, we have the Capcom 40th Anniversary Sale that is running right now. Capcom obviously crushing it as far as being one of the best publishers in the game today, and this is their 40th Anniversary Sale. The typical stuff is on sale. Monster Hunter titles, Rise and Sunbreak, the double pack is $39.59. Rise Standalone is $16. Rise Deluxe Edition is $21.37. You've got deals on a plethora of Resident Evil titles, Devil May Cry games. You guys get the idea with Capcom. I mean, I feel like Capcom is running a lot of sales these days. And, you know, there's deals that I always promote because their games are pretty damn good. Uh, Dead Rising games on sale. Unfortunately, it looks like no Mega Man titles are on sale, which is a big bummer because, you know, I'm a big Mega Man guy. So, um... Yeah, that's a little bit of a bummer. Dragon's Dogma is down to 479. I know a lot of people are trying to pick that up. Um, uh, Street Fighter, those titles are on sale. Capcom Fighting Collection, obviously Street Fighter 6, by the way, not on sale. Uh, Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3, uh, you can check that out. Don't check out Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. And a lot of the legacy uh, Capcom games are fresh, uh, unfortunately not on sale. Like a Bionic Commando, Bionic Commando Rearmed, um, Lost Planet, Strider, those are all not on sale, surprisingly. I would figure, like, if you have a 40th anniversary sale, you would be promoting your historic games as well but I digress that's a little bit of a bummer uh nonetheless but uh yeah a lot of great deals available as part of that and even with that like the 40th anniversary sale they picture Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney trilogy but it's not on sale unless like all the deals haven't rolled out I just find that a little bit confusing but uh hey what can you do um you know still good deals across the board lastly I do want to note that the Steam Stealth Fest is running right now and it will be running until July the 31st at 10 a.m pacific time kicked off yesterday and there's a bunch of deals on here as well. Some games I, you know, you, you you can go as far as you want as far as considering them stealth titles. But, you know, most of them have stealth elements at the very least. Uh, Batman Arkham Knight at $4. Assassin's Creed Odyssey at $12. Watch Dogs Legion, 9 bucks. Weird West Definitive Edition, $9.99 on that. That is an awesome, awesome deal that I would strongly recommend. Weird West is a great game that, um, you know, maybe for 40 bucks it's a little bit rough around the edges. But at $9.99, that's a great, great price. Assassin's Creed Syndicate at $7.49 is tremendous. That's a game that gets really underlooked, and I really enjoyed my time with AC Syndicate. Assassin's Creed Valhalla at $14.99. Ghost Recon uh, Wildlands at $9.99. Sniper Elite 5 at $17. Sniper Elite 4 at $6. Far Cry 6 at $15. Watch Dogs 2 at $7.49. Little Nightmares 2 at $9.89. Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Breakpoint at $12. Rainbow Six Siege at $7.99. Assassin's Creed Origins at $9. Hitman 3 at $35. That is obviously the World of Assassination. AC Unity on sale. Playtale Innocence for $8 is great. AC 4 at $12. I mean, AC 4... I feel like they've appreciated the price on that. Rightful, maybe rightfully so, given that AC4 is like one of the beloved Assassin's Creed titles. Although rumblings of it getting a remake as well uh, should be considered. So that is something 
to be mindful of. Um, yeah, a lot of great deals as a part of this sale. Batman Arkham Origins, by the way, $4.99. I know that's the Batman Arkham game a lot of you guys are missing in your library, given that when you buy the Arkham Collection, you get Asylum, you get City, you get Night, but you don't get Origins, which is done by WB Montreal, not Rocksteady. WB Montreal put out Gotham Knights. I know Gotham Knights had its mixed reception, but Arkham Origins is a decent game. Not as good as the main three Arkham titles, but still fairly good, and a lot of people like it um, you know, more than others. Like, I remember when it came out, it got relatively mid-reception, like 7s and 8s out of 10s, which for Arkham, you know, Arkham consistently got 9, so a 7 is uh, a little bit lacking, but it still ended up being a good game. So for $5, that's quite good. Uh, the AC2 collection on sale as well, $4.99 a pop for Assassin's Creed 2, Brotherhood, and Revelations. That's always a good buy if you don't have that in your library. Deus Ex Mankind Divided at $4.49 is a good pickup as well. Uh, I believe Human Revolution is on sale as well. Assassin's Creed Rogue is at $6. Assassin's Creed 1 at $4.99. That's pretty good. Sniper Elite 3 at $2.99. Far Cry 3 at $4.99. Little Nightmares at $4.99. Assassin's Creed Revelations at $6. Um, yeah, a lot of good deals as a part of this sale. And I just keep going down and find better and better deals. So, uh, yeah, hu Deus Ex 1, uh, Human Revolution, I should say, is $3. They do have some games listed that, you know, they don't even have deals on. Like, Dying Light is listed here, but it's $30 still. And who's who going to be paying $30 on Dying Light? Nobody, that's who. Mark of the Ninja remastered at $8 as well. Batman Arkham City, uh, $5 on that. Batman Arkham Asylum, 5 bucks as well. Um, yeah, so definitely a lot of great deals to check out there, and I would highly recommend you to uh, go through the sale for yourself. You know, we're just coming off the summer sale, so I know these deals don't have as much uh, value as the deals did in the past, but still, uh, quality titles to check out across the board, and uh, with all the deals running, you're definitely going to find something of value. But that is going to do it for me. Again, Dungeon of the Endless, get it for free right now over on Steam quality title there they have offered it for free so some of you guys probably already have it in your library if you do you know tell your friends maybe they don't have it and uh, they can expand their steam libraries quite a bit with this one capcom 40th anniversary sale not a gigantic sale here, but, like, there's still good deals on it. It's just, like, why, why are they picturing Phoenix Wright if Phoenix Wright is not on sale? Just find that a little bit bewildering. And then the Steam Stealth Fest is running as well. This one's got a lot of great deals. Um, a lot of games I don't even know how far you would consider. They have stealth elements to them, but... You know, uh, a lot of these games don't, I wouldn't say are necessarily just strictly stealth games. Like, even the Assassin's Creed titles. Like a lot of the Assassin's Creed games, yes, they have stealth elements, but they really go a lot further than just stealth. Um, nevertheless, a lot of quality games on sale as a part of that. That'll do it for me. Let me know all of your thoughts in the comments section down below. And uh, as always, guys, thanks for watching. I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Hey, what's going on guys? Mush here again. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you guys might know, YouTube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky, even if you're subscribed to the channel. Maybe you're not abundantly aware that I uploaded a video to remedy that situation. Make sure you hit the bell notification button. This way, whenever I upload a new video and I try to upload as consistently as possible, you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live. I would really appreciate if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the content I'm posting, but as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.